Hello, welcome to another Research Methods for the Biosciences screencast for Minitab. This screencast covers section 5.3, Summary Statistics. They say that a picture paints a thousand words, and this is why you should always plot a graph of your data. But in almost every report, we have to describe our data in words and figures, particularly when we are comparing data sets. To do this, we use a set of widely accepted concepts and statistics termed descriptive or summary statistics the most important of which are described in section 5.3 of the book. Many programs have a single command that will calculate these statistics for a data set. This screencast is going to show you how to do this using data from table 10.4 regarding the height of periwinkles on the lower shore. In most cases the programs will give you the mean, median, lowest and highest value and interquartile range along with variance, standard deviation and others. For skewness and kurtosis, see my screencast on Is my data normally distributed? As you can see, I've already entered the data from 10.4 into Minitab. To calculate the summary statistics, track up to Stat, click, a menu appears. Track down to Basic Statistics, a sub-menu appears, track across and click Display Descriptive Statistics. In the window, select Shell Height and add it to the variable box by pressing the Selection button. Minitab gives you the option of selecting which summary statistics you want it to calculate. To do this, track to the statistics button and click and the window will open. Tick the squares for the summary statistic you want it displayed. I'm going to tick variance and interquartile range. Press OK. Press OK a second time to run the program. As you can see, Minitab has displayed the summary statistics in the session window. I hope you found this screencast helpful. For further information on how to use this test, or the theory behind it, then please consult the book. More information on how to use the program to perform the test can be found in our online web guides located in the Resource Centre. Thank you for listening.